Hey friends, welcome to another episode of Show Me Your Junk. We have some catching up to do. It's been a week since I saw you. It feels like it's been a month. We're gonna run over to my Adams store today and I'm going to show you my brand new milk paint line displayed on the shelves that we built in a video a few weeks ago. I'll link that video right up here. The milk paint is also loaded onto my website, upcycledbybrie.com. I will have that and everything else included down in the description box below. So if you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to all so you don't miss any new videos. This is my booth space at the Adams location. I have been in this space for about a year now. After everything opened back up, I doubled the space. It was about half the size and I really do love the setup. I can put larger pieces on the back wall and smaller vignettes in the front. But when I got offered this spot right in front of the registers and the front door, I couldn't say no. I'm going to show you how I move my booth over and get everything set back up. First step, we got to take it all down. I've gotten a lot of questions about my booth walls, which are actually these old doors. The two on the end, the brown, rusty, crusty ones right here, came from one of my pickers. They are authentically old chippy doors. The ones on my back wall are old doors, but the green and white is actually Sweet Pickens milk paint. The green is pantry door and the white is flower sack. Both of those are now in my booths and up on my website. I will have all of that in the description box below for you. Now don't worry, I'm also going to show you how I keep the doors up and keep my walls upright. Now that all of the doors are down, you can see that I have them up on a frame that's made out of two by fours. In this booth setup, I had a long back wall and then two side walls. We took some of the structure apart and moved it over piece by piece. Now we are lengthening this wall. I have one 10 foot wall and one 12 foot wall. That the frame is up, it's time to screw the doors directly into the frame. Again, I got so lucky having this booth space open to lay these doors out. It made my life so much easier. Oops, until I pulled this door apart. <laughs> Don't worry, I fixed it. Now that all the doors are up in, in place, I am going through and taking out all of the old screws and stuff that I had in the doors from other things that were hung up. And then I did have a little extra space down on the end, but I was able to use an old shutter. So it worked out perfectly. The walls are up and in place. Here is my milk paint display along the left wall. I'm going to be taking the brown shelf home and painting it up for my DIY paint. But in the meantime, I have brought in my big pieces of furniture and here's what it's looking like. So far, so good. I am pleased. I will be painting the back side of this wall. It's not super aesthetic, but here's a better peek at the framing system back behind it. Now it's time to do the fun part, bring all of the medium and small items back in, get everything all staged up. Thank you. 
And here is a look at it all finished and staged up. I was very surprised that I got all of this done in one day. I still need to paint my two brown shelves white. They will sit on either side of the black shelf and hold my DIY paint. Sweet Pickens paint will go on the black shelf. So there's still some little details to figure out, but for the weekend and for this week, this is a great display. But the two white dressers sold, so now I've got to get busy and get some more furniture done. Just for fun, here's what the dressers looked like before. I got them both for a reasonable price. They weren't a set, but using DIY tarnished pearl, dark and decrepit, and clear wax, and then adding these brass poles off of Amazon, they made a beautiful set. Now don't worry, I will link all of those products in the description box below. Over the weekend, I worked on a gorgeous custom dresser, and I will show you that here in just a little bit using a Sweet Pickens milk paint, but also, y'all, my milk paint came in. So here's some video. I am getting it all processed, taking my inventory, writing down display ideas, getting it loaded to my website and tagged for my booth. I have been a busy bee, so if I seemed a little quiet, sorry, I was not trying to ignore y'all. I just had to put my head down and get this work done. Here is the rewarding part of putting it all into my booth. For now, it's going to sit on this hutch with my DIY paint, but as you can tell, I am quickly running out of room. So another display piece has to be made for this location as well. I have the perfect piece in mind down in my garage. And I got lucky that all of my paint barely squeezed on this tiny shelf at Adams. My DIY order should be here any day, so I've got to get these displays done. Get ready for some upcoming furniture videos. And here is a look at the custom piece. They had tried to do some repairs on the front. It wasn't the correct product, so that came off. I completely sanded and sealed inside and out of this piece. This backer was rotten, so it came off and I did replace it with a fresh backer. I did leave the rest of the back of the piece original, although I cleaned and sealed it. I like how it tells a story. Here was the top. It was in terrible condition. The end result is not perfect, but it tells a beautiful story and it did come out wonderfully. There was some body damage here on the piece, which I also repaired. And now that the sun has peeked out, here is the final result. Painted in Sweet Pickens Milk Paint in the color Harbor and sealed with clear beeswax. This is a gorgeous piece. I wish it wasn't a custom order and I would totally keep it. I love the way it turned out. What do you think? I will link all the products below so you know which ones I used on this piece. I had also gotten a ton of requests for more decor boards. I scored this barn door on Facebook Marketplace for $70 and it was time to take it apart and make some more beautiful boards. I took a couple to my retail booth, I did load a few to my website, and of course I had to keep one for myself. I have five boards loaded to upcycledbybreed.com under the Upcycled Finds collection. I will link that down below for you. So if you have been keeping your eye out for one of these, go snag one quick before they're all gone again. I hope today's video was helpful in learning how I put together my booth walls. I love using the old chippy doors. I really feel like it makes my booth feel more like a room so people can see what my decor might look like in their own home. Make sure you come back on Sunday. I have got another huge reveal. Here's a little sneak peek for you. 
more products coming in and some huge things happening. I'm so thankful for you guys for following me along on this journey. I've been at it for about a year and a half now, still pretty brand new to YouTube. So if you wouldn't mind, share this video with a friend who you think may enjoy it as well. It's going to help this little channel grow and be sure to check out my creative group on Facebook. I'll be sure to link that down in the description box along with everything else we talked about today. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye friends.